Let's talk about the case of the round goby, a little fish that some people think is cute, but anglers, fishermen, absolutely hate. The round goby is a rather small fish with a big head and round frog-like eyes. They have puffy cheeks. They kind of look like aquatic chipmunks. They're kind of cute. The round goby is native to the Black and Caspian Seas, but first spread to Lake Superior in 1990 from freighter ballast water coming from Eastern Europe. They're bottom dwellers. They like to perch on rocks and sand in shallow areas. And what do they do? Well, they may look cute, but they are rather naughty. They're bullies. They like to eat the eggs of other fish. Round gobies can eat up to 4,000 smallmouth bass eggs in 15 minutes. They also outcompete native fish for food. They're aggressive little punks with extra sensory powers that allow them to detect water movement like a built-in radar. That means they have an advantage over our native fish because they're able to feed in complete darkness. Most Great Lakes fish can't see in the dark, so at night or in dark waters, they're either eating their eggs or stealing their food. In fact, scientists say once you have round gobies in a given area, you will eventually see a 60% decrease in the diversity of fish. What does that mean, 60%, six zero? Over half of your native fish, the ones that belong, will eventually disappear over time because of the gobies either eating their eggs or eating their food. Here's an example of a round goby. Round goby, round tube. It's rather small, but this is a full-size adult. It's not a baby fish or a juvenile, it's full grown. Usually about four inches or 10 centimeters in length. They're not a fish that we eat, so fishermen hate them. When they're trying to catch good eating fish like bass or bluegills or perch, They'll be catching gobies by the dozens. In fact, one teacher told me he went fishing with two students and in two hours, that's 120 minutes, the three of them caught over 200 round gobies. That means they were catching more than one per minute between the three of them. They said they didn't even need bait. The gobies were so aggressive and so hungry, they would take a bare hook. And what are you supposed to do with a round goby if you catch one? No, don't throw them back. Throw them in the garbage or throw them into the woods or on the rocks, but don't throw them back into the lake. And don't use them as bait because they're so destructive to the Great Lakes, it's actually against the law to throw them back in. They want you taking them out, not putting them back in to the water because they're so bad. In fact, one student told me, my dad hates goby so much, he cuts off their heads. Off with their heads. A girl sitting next to him said, well, that, that, that's kind of harsh. And the boy said, well, they're invasive species. We hate them. Another boy said, my dad hates gobies so much, he throws them out of the windshield of his truck so we can watch them bake in the sun. Baked fish. Uh, sorry, they're not good eating. Round gobies can have another negative effect on the Great Lakes. What do they like to eat for lunch? Zebra mussels, another invasive species. That's great, right? Well, zebra mussels filter water, absorbing the bacteria from decaying algae. And that's a problem. Why? Well, while they're feasting on mussels, they're picking up the disease, which is not good for birds when they eat the infected gobies. Dead gobies, dead birds. Researchers estimate tens of thousands of birds, gulls, loons, have all died because of botulism. Researchers estimate tens of thousands of birds, gulls, loons, have died because of botulism. So what goes around gobies goes aground. Get it? Death all around. Now, someone might argue round gobies are not all that bad. Scientists report that round gobies comprise the diet for several sport fish as well as the Lake Erie water snake. In fact, there are so many round gobies for water snakes to eat that the government was able to remove the Lake Erie water snake from the Federal Endangered Species list in 2011. So fewer gobies, but more snakes. Ready to go swimming? Yeah, that was my first thought too. The fact is, round gobies are so numerous in the Great Lakes, there are too many to catch. 
So the only thing we can do is try to control them. Now that they're here, we're stuck with them. How cute. I hope you've liked what I've shared. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.